Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about Monet and we are going to do a project based off of his artwork. Monet was an impressionist painter and impressionist paintings, they are not about painting things 100% realistically. They're more about painting the impression of a moment. So usually impressionist paintings are really colorful. Um, they're not blended perfectly. They have little dashes of color. So that's how, what I'm gonna show you how to do today. We are going to be using oil pastels. If you don't have access to oil pastels at home, um, you can just use crayons. They do need to be um, just regular crayons, not the washable kind, because if they're washable, um, when we go back with watercolor, it'll just blend together. Um, you'll need some watercolors, a pencil, and some water for your watercolors. Um, if you want to know more about Monet, I will be adding the presentation to the website so you can check that out as well. I talk a lot about Monet himself, I talk about impressionists, and we look at a lot of Monet's paintings. So, just a second, we're going to go ahead and get started. Alrighty, hopefully this angle works out okay. Full disclosure, um, I just have my tripod kind of hanging off of the dog cage in the corner, so if it's a little bit wobbly, I do apologize. This is the best I can do right now. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is you need to look up a reference photo or you can just use an object in your house that you can look at, like a cup or something, and you're going to start off by sketching it. Now, when we sketch, this is what I preach all the time, you need to draw lightly, especially with the oil pastels or the crayons, because if you try to draw really dark, like if you're drawing really dark lines like that, then you're going in with your pastels, it's going to show up. So if you need to, before you start drawing, just practice. Do like a regular line. Then over here, try to draw a line as dark as you can. Then over here, just start drawing lighter and lighter lines. This also helps whenever you are erasing. If I try to erase these light lines, they go away like completely. However, my darker lines, they still show up. And then whenever I go over them with my pastel, they get even darker. All right, so make sure that you draw incredibly lightly. The same thing will happen with crayons if you draw really dark. All right, so you're going to start off, you're going to sketch your object. Um, I'm just going to draw a circle for this. Just so that way I can give you guys a quick little demo on what you need to do. All right. You also want your picture to take up like your whole paper. Um, make sure that you don't just do a tiny little circle like I did. Here, I'll give it some petals and turn it into a flower. I'm drawing a little bit darker than I should also, simply because I want you guys to be able to see my pencil lines. All right. So I'll just do half of a flower for now. All right, so you'll do your whole picture. Once it looks really nice and you're proud of it, then you are going to start using your pastels or your crayons. Now, when we use these, we're gonna kinda use the same technique that we used whenever we were making our Starry Night pictures with Vincent Van Gogh. We are just gonna use little dashes to fill it up. We're not just coloring it in solidly. We're also going to use some colors that we want it just naturally see in our flower. So say I'm doing like a sunflower. The middles of them are usually brown. I'm going to just start off with some yellow. And also notice I didn't go in and add a bunch of detail. I didn't add like all the tiny little seeds. I didn't add all the little wrinkles in my leaves, things like that. All right, so maybe I start off with some yellow. Then maybe my shadows down here. Instead of just going in with a dark black or a brown or something, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blue. 
where my shadow is. And then maybe up here, I'll use a different color. Maybe I'll use some orange up here. You want to use some natural colors, and you also want to use some unnatural colors. If you go back and you look at the Monet presentation on the website, you'll really see how Monet does this. Now I'm going to go back in with this darker, like golden yellow, and go back over it all. Just like when we did the Starry Night pictures, you want to just keep overlapping things until you don't see any of the white paper anymore and it all starts to just kind of blend together. All right, and then I'll start doing my petals. I'll stop, start off with just this goldenish color. Then maybe for some highlight areas, I'll do some yellow. Then maybe for my shadow areas up here, instead of doing blue, I'm gonna use this kind of greenish blue color. And then to get it to blend, I'm gonna go back in with my first color. Just like with our Vincent Van Gogh pictures, again, I'm referencing that one a lot because we all did it. You guys should remember how to. When you're using your pastels, you want to make sure that you are pressing down kind of hard like this and not lightly. Same with crayons. If you press down lightly, when we go to use the watercolors, it won't work right. And this just doesn't blend as well as that does. If I take my yellow and I do that, then it starts to blend out. If I'm just coloring lightly like this, it's not really, you can't even really see the yellow. It just doesn't look right. So make sure you're pressing down harder to get nice, bright, vibrant colors. All right, once you have yours completely finished, then you are going to use watercolors. And this is called an oil resist. Because oil and water don't mix, you can use your watercolors and just paint over your stuff and it will not stick to where you paint or where you colored with the oil pastels. You can use a paper towel if you want to kind of blot up some of the spots because it will kind of like blot on top of it just because the water has to go somewhere. So you can use a paper towel to kind of get rid of that. You're just going to paint your entire background. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. Just make sure that you fill up the whole page. So I'm going to just do in like random colors with mine and blending them together. All right. If you have any questions, as always, please email me or let me know. Again, make sure you check out the website. Check out the presentation on Monet. Um, you'll see more of his paintings, which I think will help you understand how to do this a little bit better. You'll see um, information on Impressionist paintings, which also might help you a little bit more. Plus, you learn some cool things about Monet. You see some of his artwork from early in his life and later on in his life once he had cataracts. And you see how that affected the way he saw the world. Um, so it's just really interesting. So, again, with this, if you don't have oil pastels, you can just use crayons. Make sure that they are not washable, though. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.